Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Elite Brick Force video. Today we kind of have a controversial one for you. Maybe not controversial, but just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't have any other words. We'll stick with controversial. This video is all about LEGO's marketing, guys. That has been pretty under the weather lately. And it's been kind of obvious, guys. Just kind of right in our faces, especially. Guys, I'll just get right. I'll just jump right into it, guys. Obviously, the one that everybody knows, everybody thinks about, is the controversial 2023 501st Troopers Battle Pack, guys. Especially with the officer. Of course, everybody knows. Everybody saw this with the helmet hole, with his rangefinder, guys. On the box art, it is placed up where it's not supposed to be, and so it's kind of just false advertising, in my opinion. Guys, comment down below if you think we should sue LEGO. Now, if you guys do receive the LEGO catalogs in the mail, you would probably have noticed this. It could go over some people's heads, though. It is in the advertisement in the catalog for the 501st Battle Pack. If you guys notice, maybe zoom in a little bit. What's... What's not there? What? Uh, duh. The officer's not there. Guys, he must be off duty or something because Lego just took him and just threw him right out of the picture, guys, because of the false advertising controversy. So they just decided, we'll just take him out and no one will even know. But guys, I knew. Now guys, in the same exact catalog, if you just flip a couple pages and uh, you'll find yourself in the avatar section of the advertisements. Guys, somebody must have been snoozing during the movie because they really just completely fumbled the names, guys. Like, the names are all wrong throughout the catalog. They'll have the one minifigure, they have this name, but then in the other set, it's the same exact minifigure with a different name, guys. Who's who? I don't know. I only watched the movie once, and I was snoozing. So maybe they are right. I don't know. And uh, one other thing, guys, for uh, Star Wars is, or well, for Star Wars Clone Troopers, rather, is I know it's been a little bit now, and maybe the controversies over with by now but it is the 212 troopers guys i mean it's still a problem you know on the box if they um the helmet printing is one way and on every single figure no matter if you try to get replacement parts it's not the exact same so it is false advertising once again guys i think my case is getting stronger and stronger by the second there's just no need to call Saul at this point last but not least guys the biggest doozy of them all uh the 2022 hoth atst that lego did release um now, everybody knows well, what could be wrong with this set. I personally own 62 of them, guys, one for each day of the year, but that's besides the point. Um, all my boxes were pretty good, except for the most recent one that I did go on purchase, guys. It must have been uh, the most recent batch that they did release of the box. Somebody went on and switched the LEGO logo with the Mega Bloks logo. Like what? I don't want to buy any Mega Bloks, guys. Mega Bloks are stupid. I'm trying to buy LEGO products. So yeah, I, I just don't understand how that possibly could have happened. Maybe they accidentally sent the, I don't know, got the wrong designer in there, some little sabotage deal. Yeah, that's about it, That I, uh, all that I have for you guys today. So uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, watch all my other videos. Guys, like and subscribe to them as well. And I think that's it. Sleep tight, Bricksters.